Welcome back everyone, we're here for week 7 of Pack. We're currently 3-3 three and three and we're in an interesting part of our season. Uh, we've got a trip coming up this Friday, so we're going to be actually away for weeks 7 and 8. So basically what we've done is we've played our week 5 uh, 3 days ago, played our week 6 this morning, playing our week 7 now, and then we'll play our week 8 in a couple of days and... You know, see how the playoff fixtures sort themselves out. Hopefully win at least one of these games coming up. Uh, we're currently 3-3, three and three, so I assume we have to win probably one game to get into the play-ins, which is uh, position 7 through 10. Um, if we win both, we'll probably make the top 6 and get that week off. So we're up against Wreck-It Mike. Uh, he's, I believe, 2-3 and three at the moment. Uh, so hasn't played his week 6 yet. Um, he's got... Uh, very interesting team in the fact that it's got uh, Sun, but it's also got the Terra uh, Coquable. I think Terra Venusaur is also really good. I expect Terra Electric Coquable. I think it's just uh, super good into me. Um, if he can chip down the Petrant, then my team has a really hard time. Uh, we're just going to get straight into the team. There's going to be no editing really for... Uh, these last couple of games to kind of need to play them upload them schedule them and then uh you'll see them when everyone else is releasing them but um yeah kind of jam-packed so we'll get straight into uh, what i'm bringing to the match starting off with life orb flygon which goes really good in this matchup uh first impression for the weavile earthquakes really spammable as is u-turn psychic noise is um, quite good, particularly for Giga Drain on the Venusaur outside of Sun. If it starts to get out of hand, Giga Drain uh, actually fails. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got the uh, Petra. Um, just mostly Fizz Def. I've got a fair bit of special attack on this as well. Helps me to hit KO things like uh, the Quequable and get a bit of extra damage on things like the Gouging Fire and the Porygon 2. Uh, actually, Parting Shot's pretty good in this as well because things that are good into me, like the Porygon 2 and the uh, Knuckle Stack, will obviously be holding a Violet most of the time, so Parting Shot is uh, pretty good. Uh, then I've got my Vaporeon. Uh, boots, kind of boot spam in this game. Let's see, I've got uh, what, three Pokemon with boots, just Wish Protect. Uh, Haze is good for some of these things that do like to snowball in the matchup. And Water Absorb's obviously good for the uh, Oval. I've got a Covert Cloak, Terra Water, and Namor, similar to the set I brought in week one, which did really well. Uh, yeah, Terra Water again. Uh, just got Earth Power instead of uh, Terra Blast this time, which is uh, pretty good here, I think. Uh, and then the Mouse Life Orb Mix. So I've got a spe fair bit of special attack to take out a max HP uh, Turquoil. Um, obviously with the Protean, it's going to Oko. And uh, knock off with Protean into Power Gem without Protean will almost always kill. So uh, that's quite nice. Uh, otherwise, like Knock, Flower Trick, U-Turn is really good. Uh, and lastly, I've got the uh, Blissey, which is just my special sponge. Uh, Alluring Voice is uh, basically for the Coquable uh, that wants to uh, Aqua Step or Sword Stance in my face, or even Rapid Spin, really. And then the Gouging Fire as well, if it wants to get up a sub and Dragon Dance, uh, Alluring Voice goes through and confuses it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm bringing to the match, and I'll jump straight into it for you guys. And we're back for the match, so he's just shared with me that he has uh, Terra Fire for the Venusaur. Um, it's really surprising not to see him bring uh, Coquable. Um, yeah, we're just going to lead with the Miascarada. Um see what he does. We've got the power gem for the turquoise if he wants to lead off with that. Yeah, see what he brings. Like I said, I'm not going to be editing 
uh, this week or week eight, just because of uh, the lack of time that I've got. So these will just be scheduled for when it's time to come out. So hopefully with a win in this game, if we get the win, um, Hopefully that'll be... Sorry, I wasn't really expecting a Weevil uh, lead. I was kind of thinking in the background, like, what would I want to go for if he leads that? I wonder if he just goes for uh, the knock, just because uh, it is so free. Like, if I've got Rocky Helmet on the uh, Vaporeon, he doesn't want to go for that. Uh, but if I lose my uh, life orb, then I don't kill with power gem anyway. Um, hmm. Alright, I just go into Vaporeon. It's a bit annoying. And we'll see how offensive this is, I guess. I mean, I expect him to go for knock, right? I expect him to go for knock. That do 36. Yeah, so that just looks like a uh, high roll for Jolly. Uh, could also be a low roll for Adamant. Not sure. So I think we can just go for a flip turn on this. That's it with draw, so that's fine. Battle champion. Oh cool. Okay. Get about eight percent on that. looks fizz deaf to me. Uh, we could go into Enamorous here. Or Miascarada. I mean, he doesn't switch into Miascarada. Yeah, let's go. I mean, I know it's like probably a little bit obvious that something's up if I'm going to Mouse Rider, but does it matter? Probably not. This power gem. I don't really know what his answer to this would be. He's gonna have to think about it. Um, I guess he could... Would he go Sandy Shocks? I don't know. Stays in. Do we take out the Turkle? We do. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so I don't expect him to go into gouging fire, so we should. Hopefully he goes into Sandy Shocks and I can just go into uh, Flag on a new turn and that kind of gets rid of a couple of turns of uh, the sun, that'd be pretty good. Uh, he obviously, yeah, goes into Venusaur. Makes a hell of a lot of sense. Uh, I think I can just go into my Tatiana. I just need to get through the sun. Oh, sword stance. Ugh. Alright. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I just seismic toss until I die, right? his best move like air blast or probably gets poison jab I guess it gets I imagine it gets earthquake for the Petra but that's still not gonna do like crazy amount Whoa!
The life orb? Holy. Okay. Life orb. The terror blast. It's not fun to calc either. On my calc, it's like not killing either. So I'm... I'm confused. Got adamant, life orb, verifier, plus two. Oh, it's in the sun. That makes sense. Uh, I think we... I mean, I think I haze here. Cow whip. He misses. That's a relief. Alright, how many turns of sun do we have? Alright, I think I have to protect here. I mean, he could SD again. <sighs> cool set. Very cool set. At least with Turk all dead, I should only have to get through this once. Um, Flygon kills this with Earthquake, so... SD? Oh, okay. Obviously good. Mm, still got two turns of sun. Uh, do I wish and hope I live? Uh, actually, if he's Adam and Orb, do I always die? Yeah, I always die. Um, mm. Do I go for the double protect? Or do I go Petron? I'll go Petron, and if he SDs, I'll probably just go back to um, Vaporeon. It should do like 10%, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and if he's got Earthquake. Yeah, it's doing less than half. Yeah, so I think I want to. I can recover all parting shot. I think I want to recover once. Yeah. I think I made the right play there. He takes some life orb chip too, so that I think works out pretty well. Alright, we got through the sun and we only lost Blissey, so that's pretty good, I think. I think I can parting shot here. Yes, these. That's fine. Um, I was going to go into Flygon, but I think I can go... I think I'm better off going into the Masquerada. Uh, and I can just power gem. If he wants to go into... Uh, Sandy Shocks, like... Whatever. Um, I don't kill this with... Uh, Knockoff's a roll. I don't think I want to take that risk. Yeah, so I'll just power gem. I mean, I could have pre could predict the Sandy Shocks, but I kind of think that this just goes down and he goes in the Sandy Shocks after. I'm fine, I think, with how I handled um, all of that, because, I mean, Blissey was mostly dealing with this anyway. If he goes in the Sandy Shocks, that works out well, because we're getting our... Uh, Our Flygon. Could he go? He could go Weavile, I guess. I imagine that I'm in Weavile range. It's probably a fairly free knockoff for him. Like I said at the start, like before we played, he's two and three, so this is pretty important for him. Uh, it does go Weavile. I think that's the better play from him because I've still got the uh, Flygon sitting there for the uh, Sandy Shocks. Uh, I'm just going to go into Vaporeon. And I think he always goes for knockoff here. As he does. Um, and I can... Uh, I think I flip here. Yeah, because if he stays in or SDs or whatever, I've got first impression on my... Um, plug on. Alright, go to Sand Shocks, yeah. Maybe hoping that I wouldn't wish. And here... 
I think my best play... Oh, I think my best play is to go into... I mean, I could go into Flygon uh, to Masquerada, but I think... I think I'm going to fly on a new turn. He always goes Braviary here, right? Yeah, I just U-turn here. Yeah, so he should go Braviary. And then I believe that'll give me a free uh, Masquerada Power Gem. I'll do like 25. Yep, and we'll just power gem this. Uh, I don't believe he'd be scarfed. Yeah, I'm fine to just... Uh, go knock off. Knock off's fine to... Oh yeah, I'll just power gem. Fly one in the back's looking really good for me here. Between first impression and earthquake. Obviously really strong. I don't know what he does here. Because if he goes into Sandy Shocks, he'd have to go into Sandy Shocks and then uh, double. But if he doubles to Weavile as I go Flygon, I first impression, and I probably win that anyway. Yeah, so he goes into Sandy Shocks, makes, makes a lot of sense. Get some good damage on this. Yep, let's get down to like 40. Uh, I'll go to... Uh, my Flygon. I mean, I think from his perspective, the best play is probably to double into um, Weavile. But he could also double into Braviary. That would be a pretty decent play, I think. Yeah. Best case is he goes into Weavile and... Oh, no, nah, he goes into Braviary. Makes sense. See if he wants to uh, roost. I guess there's a risk that he goes for the Esper Wing. So do I go into Miascarada? Does he get U-turn? Uh, I'll go into Vaporeon. I think it's my safest play because if he, I don't really need Vaporeon. Uh, so what's his options here? He can go into Sandy Shocks and double, I guess. Um, he could maybe pick now to start setting up with the Argent Fire. Uh, does that, I flip turn into Petron. He's like sub lefties that would maybe be a bit annoying. That's the Sandy Shocks, yeah. Right, we're just going to my Flygon. Always going to Flygon on this. Withdraws. He's kind of got to keep doing this. Goes into Braviary. Ah, uh, I imagine he has to roost this time. I might do that actually. I might Psychic Noise to stop him from roosting and then I U-turn. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I mean, he either tries to roost or U-turns. Surely you roost here. Come on, roost. Ah! <sighs> that's annoying. Ah, that's really annoying. Um, I'm still gonna U-turn here. Alright, so we get him really low. I think we go... I think we go Enamorous. Turns. Um, I don't think he'd go into Sandy Shocks here. So if he goes into Gouging Fire or Weavile, I think by Iron Defense. I can see him going into Gouging Fire here. I think that's Gouging Fire. No, it's Weavile. Uh, hmm. I think I have Terra Water and Iron Defense here.
Uh, what do you go for? He goes for Nox, we play from him. What? Uh, Alright, we draining kiss here. Perfect. Uh, we'll just draining kiss again. If it draws. I think he's sacking the Braviary to go into gouging fire, I think. No. Sandy Shocks, right? Because he hasn't clicked a button on Sandy Shocks, so could very well be scuffed. My lord. Alright, just got the boost of energy, his attack. Yeah. Um, I am just going to. I'm going to Earth Power, I'm not going to muck around uh, too much with this. I do at least half. Sure do. What does he do? Dragon answers. Yup. Um, I am at plus two defense and a max HP. Does he do 130 to me? With okay. outrage. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll still go for Earth Power. I don't think Earthquake kills. Does with a crit. Fuck me. Fuck me! Earthquake never kills, does a max of 49.1. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, I go Petra on here. Oh. I got him booster attack, adamant, plus one, does a max. Oh. And then this is probably a roll. So I always leave his attack as long as he crit, doesn't crit me again. And then Malignant Chain looks like a roll. Unbelievable. Because then... Because then Weavile wasn't killing me. I still had the flag on for Sandy Shocks. It's a brutal game sometimes. So he got one of the highest rolls. Let's see if I can kill him. We don't. But we get the poison. Let's die from the poison. Yeah. Alright. Oh man. Alright, so we've still got the um I don't know how this will play out, because we've still got the first impression on Flygon. We can get one attack off before dying to our life orb. Can we beat Sandy Shocks? It'll depend. So you got Masquerada. Yeah, it'd be tough. Um, then we've got basically this is a sack. And we've got. I think his best play is probably, I guess, to go to Sandy Shocks and. Bolt, maybe? So what have I got left? I've still got the Vaporeon sitting there. I think I'll have to take a risk here. So I'll die here. And then I think I have to go into Flygon to bluff first impression and double into um, uh, double into Masquerada. Actually, can he kill Vaporeon from here? Considering I have no item. Uh, no. But this flip turn do enough. Alright, I think I go Flygon and I double into Masquerada. Fuck, this is bad. Um, he has to expect me to have. No, fuck, he stayed in. Oh, this is crap. This sucks. Why would you stay in there? I first impression there, you, oh my god. I'm sorry Mike, but are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Um, yeah, I've, I've flipped turn here. 
And this looks like a roll as well. I can't believe he stayed in there. Because if I first impression there, he dies, he's just got the Sandy Shocks, which, unless it's Scarf, then it's got something for the, um... What do you call it? The... Yeah, it dies. Okay. <sighs> Might still be hope here. I can't remember how healthy the Sandy Shocks is. Forty. Forty, forty, forty. Oh. I don't know what to go for. If he's scarfed first impression, he's on what 40%. It's exactly 50%. Oh, I think I just earthquake. No, I can't. Oh, let's first impression. Fuck's sake. What move does he go for? This is a joke. This game was a joke. Flash can. So he would have killed me anyway. I I don't believe it. If he scarfed, does he kill the Vaporeon? No, he doesn't. God. I hope. Come on, be scarfed. Come on. Oh my god. Live on two. Wow. Oh my god. That game was insane. <sighs> Alright, I think we at least get into um, play ins. Man, the crit on Enamorous into him staying in with Weaver. I guess with Sandy Shocks being choice locked, probably played into his mind, but uh, if I just first impression there, I'm in an amazing spot. But we get the 1 0 win. That's two 1 0 wins today. So crazy. Alright, good game to Mike. Uh, we'll move on to week 8 with our uh, 4 and 3 record and um, yeah, hopefully get a win in week 8 and move on to either planes or quarters after that. See you next time.